so guys ethereum merch is basically completed as you can see the supply changed already since the merge with about minus 127 ethereum and we can also see that in the next couple of years um, the supply will drastically go down uh, in the next one 200 years probably um, back again to about 42 million ethereum and uh, yeah guys everything is basically completed and uh, right now if you're looking on the chart it's looking quite messy because a lot of people are actually also shorting ethereum right now in the short term and we are just bouncing back and forth between 1650 to about 1550 dollars right and yeah i just wanted to give you some of my next potential price targets for ethereum guys just wanted to let you know what i'm looking out for right now in the immediate short term we will also talk about the daily time frame and at the end of this video like always i will give you some of my next potential trade setups for ethereum guys all right so if you appreciate that then drop a like right now let's reach 350 likes in today's video guys drop a like right now it would i would really appreciate that and uh yeah also very interesting guys on bitget right now you can get some free ethereum classic you can stake uh, your bgb with zero with zero uh, fees spot trading fees guys uh, you can st uh, stake your bgb and get up to 18 percent apy and um about 41% APY on this PGB pool and about 17.93% on this Ethereum Classic pool, guys. So you can basically get free Ethereum Classic and already 17 million US dollars are already staked. And on top of that, guys, only with my link down below, you will get up to $8,000 deposit bonus and also 15% off trading fees only with my link down below in the description in the pinned comments guys it takes only 15 seconds sign up login click deposit and claim rewards right so let's take a quick look on ethereum and let's see what is going on right now guys basically we the uh, price action is definitely messy but i'm expecting probably a big big breakout in the next couple of days guys maybe in the next one, couple of hours already but i think in the next one or two days you can definitely expect a, l a lot of volatility especially with the next fomc meeting next week guys where we have the next interest rate hikes we can definitely expect way more volatility on ethereum and on bitcoin so basically what i'm looking out for right now in the immediate short term is quite simple i want to get a breakout finally above $1,650 you can see a couple of hours hours ago on the ethereum merge we had a small breakout right here um yeah and then actually it was not a successful breakout basically just a huge trap liquidity trap guys and ethereum came all the way down to about $1,580 and what i want to see right now is basically just the final breakout out of this resistance zone right here guys right so we need to reclaim first of all this area of resistance around $1,610 and if we are able to see a potential breakout above this area we can definitely break all the way up to about $1,650 to get finally a potential breakout and a co continuation pattern maybe to about $1,700 guys this is in my opinion a very realistic scenario but like I already mentioned in one of my last videos it also depends right now on Bitcoin and also in the traditional markets how things are playing out because it is also very important right now that bitcoin is moving into the right direction so this would be basically the bullish scenario right now guys right if we are getting a breakout above 1610 dollars we are able to hold it we could definitely see a potential breakout all the way up to about 1655 dollars or so then on the other hand if we are getting not a successful breakout and this sideways consolidation will just continue right here in this area guys right we could of course also fall all the way down to about $1,500 or so, right? This could be, in my opinion, the worst case scenario right now on Ethereum, guys, and this would give us a potential sell-off probably of about 5% or so, right? Because if you are looking at this price action right now, you can see in the past price action already that $1,500 was already a very important key support area for Ethereum. And I think if we are breaking down again, I think Ethereum should definitely hold quite strong around $1,500. If this event today is uh, buy the rumors sell the news event guys right and everyone start panicking in the next one or two days i think the worst worst case scenario would be a potential retest around 1200 dollars again but i will talk about that in a minute guys all right because we are looking right now in the smaller time frame and then i will talk about the four hour and also the daily time frame because like i said um 
every time ethereum is just consolidating right like for example right here guys you can see sooner or later one side will get wrecked at this point it was uh, we had a huge short squeeze basically above 1655 dollars and this is what i'm also waiting for example right now so you can see we had this breakout for example to about 1680 dollars and then a huge squeeze to about 1.8k and what i'm looking out for right now is basically the same scenario i want to see a breakout above 1640 dollars to see a potential continuation pattern to about 1700 or 1800 dollars so guys what we are seeing right now on the daily time frame is very important and i was mentioning that already 100 times in all of my last videos i am still looking at this uptrend channel basically at this pattern that we are still seeing right here on ethereum guys right so basically since we found this support around 885 dollars also this previous low on ethereum in june 2022 as you know guys uh, we had this um, big continuation pattern all the way up to about 2k um, with this antici anticipation for ethereum merge 2.0 and um as you know guys we formed some higher highs and higher lows we had this previous low around 880 dollars followed with another higher low around 1000 dollars followed with another higher low around 1400 dollars followed with another higher low around 1500 dollars followed with another higher low around 1600 dollars and it is very important right now guys that we are able to remain this bullish structure that we are seeing right now on ethereum and this would basically mean if we are able to put in another higher high high bro higher low around let's say 1600 dollars right now this would basically mean another potential bounce all the way up to approximately 2500 dollars like i already mentioned it depends right now first of all how dxy will perform right the dollar index how um, the s p 500 will play out in the next couple of days and stuff like that this is of course obviously the most important things that we are looking at right now in the immediate short term right but overall i think if we are able to see a potential bounce on the s p 500 for example maybe to about 4200 or so at the end until the end of this year then there is definitely a chance guys for a potential continuation setup on ethereum also in the daily time frame probably all the way up to about two thousand and five hundred dollars and what do we have around two thousand five hundred dollars guys quite simple the biggest resistance on ethereum right as you can see since we topped out at this previous all-time high in november 2021 around four thousand and nine hundred dollars since then we entered this huge bear market rally and we formed also this previous high around 4.9k followed with another lower high around 3.5k and probably probably guys not 100 sure but probably we are going up to about 2500 dollars maybe in the next couple of weeks and we are and maybe we will also retest at the same time this huge 200 sma line resistance area also that, that, that's currently lined up between 2k to about 2.5k otherwise i have to be honest with you there is also some downside potential that i already mentioned before guys i told you that if we are not able to hold the 1600 dollar range on the daily time frame right now there is also the chance for potential sell-off and this sell-off would pr probably bring us all the way down to about $1,200 again. Why $1,200? Quite simple because it is previous resistance as you can see right here around $1,260 guys. Previous resistance on Ethereum and at the same time um, we didn't retest this previous resistance yet so as you can see guys we didn't close this gap right here so in the immediate so in the next couple of weeks the worst case scenario in my opinion would be a potential sell-off on ethereum probably to about 1200 1300 dollars guys this is the zone i'm looking out for right now on the daily time frame so what are the next potential trade setups all right next potential trade setups for ethereum guys let me uh, show you real quick first of all like i said already in the beginning of my video i am trading on bitget up to eight thousand dollars deposit bonus and on top of that 50 percent of trading fees only with my link down below sign up right now guys and use this opportunity anyway so 
I think, I think, guys, first of all, I will give you some of my next potential uh, uh, trade setups in the immediate short term, right? And then I will give you also some of my, of my potential swing trades. So basically, um, I would say this area right here around $1,550 is definitely a potential long, tr long er uh, to take a potential long trade, right? So if the price is coming down, let's say into this range again, around $1,500 or so, I would definitely take in consideration to get into a potential long position because as you can see already, we touched this area for one time. And if you just took a position right here for uh, when Ethereum touched for a second time, this area around $1,550, you would definitely make already some money, right? If you just set your stop loss around $1,510, $1,500, maybe $1,520 and then take your profits between $1,650 to about $1,700. This could be a potential trade setup, not financial advice, of course, right? Then, if we are also getting a breakout, right? If we are getting a breakout above $1,650 and if I'm seeing that Ethereum is able to hold above this re resistance right here, then I would also at the same time take in consideration to get maybe into a potential long position somewhere right here, set my stop loss below this previous point and then take profits between, I would say $1,700 all the way up to about $1,760. This could be also a potential trade but only like i said if we are seeing a sustainable breakout and if i'm seeing some sideways consolidation above 1650 dollars so then we have also another potential trade setup and that would be basically if the price is getting rejected again around $1660 right then we could for example enter a potential short trade somewhere right here and then take our profits between $1,550 to about $1,500. But only, like I said, if the price is getting rejected around $1,640. Then I would probably set my stop loss somewhere around $1,670, $1,680. And then take my profits all the way down to about $1,550. This could be also a potential trade setup for short play. And then at the, the last one for um, short plays, guys, if we are getting a break below $1,550, right? This could be also a potential short play in my opinion, because if we are breaking this structure of support, then we can definitely take in consideration to get into a potential short position. And yeah, for um, daily setups, guys, quite simple. For daily setups, let me show you real quick. For daily setups, let me show you. So for daily setups, guys, I would probably look for a potential long play if the, if the price is um, holding above $1,600, for example, this could be a potential swing a long position. And if you are taking a position like that, for example, I would probably set my take profit around 2.3, 2.4K and then set my stop loss around $1,400. This could be a potential trade setup. And also at the same time, guys, we could, for example, get into a um, short position only if the price is breaking below $1,550 we could go into a short and then take our profits around $1,200 and get, uh, set our stop loss around $1,600 but yeah it depends guys it depends because like I said already um, it is also very important right now how the S&P uh, CPI numbers are coming out um, next week and then based on that, we will see definitely a lot of more volatility. So definitely be prepared for that. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, I would say let's try to reach 300 likes in today's video. It takes only one second. Make sure to drop a like right now. And uh, yeah, join also, join also the free Telegram channel. Like I already mentioned, I'm trading on BitGet. Link is down below. Only with my link up to 8K bonuses. 15% off trading fees. One of the best exchanges out there when it comes to trading. With that being said, guys, thank you all for tuning in make sure to not to not get tracked drop a like right now join the free telegram channel check out my patreon down below in the description and see you later for another one bye bye